Ceremony by Leslie Marmosoko Begins with the main character, Teo, coping from his experiences while in World War II. He is in a hospital, trying to get help, but nothing is working for him, and he continues to be physically ill. Teo then flashes back to when he was fighting the Japanese and how he had to shoot Japanese soldiers, but was unable to because he saw his uncle Josiah among the Japanese soldiers. Teo reflects on how he was in the white man's hospital receiving white man medicine and how it did not work for him. He is soon released from the hospital and is able to go home on the reservation. Back to present tense and Teo is finally at home on the reservation, but his grandmother continues to urge him to go see a medicine man to heal him because Teo is not doing any better. Eventually, Kaush, the medicine man, arrives and tries to help Teo by talking about Teo's different experiences and also talking about the white man's war in general. A little later, while in a bar, Teo reflects on how him and other Native American soldiers were treated when they were wearing the American uniform and how the war ended and no longer were Native American soldiers treated with respect anymore. Back to the present tense, and Teo and his friends, who are also veterans, Emo, Leroy, Harley, and Pinky are talking in a bar where Emo pulls out the human teeth he took from dead people while fighting in World War II. However, Teo then becomes fed up with Emo and how cocky he acts, so Teo stabs Emo in the stomach with a broken beer bottle. Recalling a time when Teo and his uncle Josiah were trying to figure out what to do with raising cattle, Teo goes through the decision process and the amount of time it took to take care of these special cattle ones that would last a harsh summer and winter. During the time that Josiah and Teo were figuring out the spotted cattle, Teo met somebody that was just like him, Night Swamp. They were both mixed bloods, and it was the first time ever Teo realized that there were people like him on the reservation who were not strictly Native American. In present time, Teo and his uncle Robert head to Galupo to meet a new medicine man, but a story arises about a young boy living in poverty who was deserted. Eventually, Teo and his uncle Robert arrive to the new healer's home, and Teo begins a ceremony with Batoni, a new medicine man. Batoni explains different stories that him and other Native Americans believe in, such as they created the white people, that it was Indian witchery that made white people in the first place. Teo, Batoni, and Batoni's helper head out on horseback and go to make sand paintings for Teo, chant tribal songs, and make Teo jump through several hoops in the efforts to heal him. Teo begins reflecting on what Batoni told him and what he has to do, so he begins searching for the cattle that him and his uncle Josiah bought before the war. While searching for his cattle, Teo meets another woman, Taseya, who gives Teo shelter and food before he begins his long hunt for the cattle. Eventually, Teo finds the cattle behind a chain link fence on a white man's property. Teo cuts away the wire and frees his cattle. In a way, gathering the spotted cattle was only one of the color of sand following from the fingertips. Finding the cattle is only one part of Teo's healing process, as previously referred to in Batoni's sand pain. Soon, Robert comes to Teo and explains that the people on the reservation think something is wrong with Teo because Teo has been gone a long time with Taseya and Emo has begun to spread lies about the things that Teo is doing and soon Teo realizes that this is part of what Botoni talked about with having destroyers that are out to ruin all the emotions and sensations of living people. Taseya explains that the end of the story, they want to change it. They end here. All their stories end, encircling slowly to choke the life away. The doctors have medicine to quiet you. The others bring guns. Emil has told them you are crazy. They are all afraid of you. They will take you and lock you in the white walls. Teo leaves Taseya and begins to escape from the destructive people and the ones that want to silence him. Harley and Leroy end up finding Teo and give him a ride in their truck. In the morning, Teo realizes that his friends have turned against him and are not planning to help him at all, but instead are trying to turn Teo into Emo and the people who think Teo is crazy. Teo runs away and heads to an old uranium factory that is no longer in service. However, as nighttime falls, the destroyers, Emo, Pinky, and Leroy, arrive at the factory site and they begin to drink around a fire. Although soon, they pull Harley from the trunk and begin to burn his clothing as Teo watches from behind a boulder. As Teo peeks behind a boulder, 
He sees Harley tangled in barbed wire along the fence and realizes that Emo is hoping that since Harley turned on Teo, Teo would put sympathy on Harley and come out of hiding, but then Emo would kill Teo once and for all. Slowly, the men begin to cut up Harley in hopes of making Teo take action to save Harley. However, Teo does not take action, as he knew that if he did, the ceremony would never be completed, and eventually, the men left the factory site. After returning from his place at the factory, the ceremony was complete, and Teo felt better than ever. However, he sat down with Kouj, his old healer, and the men from the White Hospital, and told them the whole entire story. A little while later, it turned out that Emo killed Pinky and was told to leave and go to California by the FBI. After learning about this story, Grandmother concluded, It seems like I already heard these stories before. The only thing is, the names sound different.